dun, 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 dun. What's up, you guys? I'm not Marcy. I know, shocker, shocker. But I am Erica. I'm with Artist Till Death, and Marcy is working on a super awesome project for you guys. It's gonna be amazing. Can't spill any beans, but it's amazing. And so she asked me to cover for her today, and so that's what I'm gonna do. I am on my cell phone. So forgive some of the movement that's about to go down, okay? Okay, thanks for the forgivances. That's not words, hold on. Okay, okay. What's up, charming giraffe? Fuzzy drive. Sorry about all the movement. It'll be done in just a minute. I'm trying to get everything how it should be. Could you lay down? Just lay down. Okay. One second. to get crazy because I need to make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing without dying. The perils of live feeds. those days call me too okay so like I said I am artist till death I am filling in for Marcy who's working on a super awesome amazing project and for you guys today I'm going to do I asked my viewers on my live feed today what they thought I should do and the consensus was black sand beach so that's what I'm gonna do Hello, Sparkle Lori. Uh, I'm not Marcy, but hello. And good evening to you as well. I went ahead, hi Bowie, go lay down. I went ahead and pre-mixed my resin. I am pouring on a 12 by 36 cradle board and that and the colors and the resin can all be found at artisttilldeath.com. Hey Sue with NWA. How are you guys? Swamper. So many of my fam in here. It makes my heart happy. Hello, Marcy's fam as well. Okay. So I'm hoping to do Marcy proud by doing resin on her channel. I know she does a lot of acrylics and also everything else and she's super talented. I don't have words. <laughs> so we relax. You guys, Marcy did a collaboration with me in my studio four years ago and I haven't been able to recreate an acrylic tree ring pour ever since. Trust me, I've tried. And the struggle is beyond real. Anyways. So today, for you guys, I'm going to be using... No worries, Lori. Happy to see you. So... I went ahead and prepped this by using a textured spray paint to get my sandy black sandy area. That was redundant, but you know what I mean. 
I used uh, Stone from rust -Oleum. It's a texture spray. And then I used black spray paint over it. And I did white spray paint in areas on the under the water part. I didn't do full coverage because I like doing a little bit of variation. I'm going to use, I'm sorry, my, this is so dirty, but this is Bondi Blue from Color Obsession. Clara! So Clara is one of my moderators. If you guys have any questions and I don't see them, I trust her to answer all of the things on my channel. Even though she doesn't have a wrench, she's a wrench worthy. Hi, Nick. I'm not Marcy, but what's up? So I only used two drops in this cup of resin, so the three ounce cup. And I'm using this as my light or shoreline color. Next, I'm going to use, um, it's called Purple Topaz, but my, my bottle is very much covered. I asked my subscribers what they thought I should do and they said a black sands blue and purple ocean so that's what I'm gonna do for you guys. We oftentimes on my channel do demo on demand so I told them to come over here and check it out if they have the time. Look at that color. Cujo go lay down. I have two palms that are apparently being super needy today. Apologies. Um, I'm in a very well ventilated large space. My studio slash home is 2,500 square feet. And um, yeah, I have a ventilation system. So if you guys are concerned about fumes, I got it covered. So this color is deep ocean blue. It's gonna be the deep part of my ocean, but I'm gonna add a little bit of purple as well. Also because my space is well ventilated, you'll hear some stuff on the streets, like motorcycles. Hi Sue, Ride Swamper, the purple's amazing. Hey TG, hello Sarah. No worries, Nick. I'm sorry I'm not Marcy, but she has entrusted me with a live feed for today. So I've got my deepest part of the ocean, my light purple, and now I need a mid-tone blue. So I'm gonna use four or five drops of the Bondi for this mid-tone. I'm just gonna set these aside before I knock them over because I will knock them over. Claire was a super loud. I feel like it was super loud. Okay. I haven't done a blue and purple black sand ocean, but I do do a lot of oceans on my channel. As a full-time artist, it is one of the designs that I sell the most. So if you guys are uh, working artists or commissioned artists and you're interested in figuring out how to do oceans, stay tuned. Also, if you haven't subscribed to Marcy's channel yet, do so. She's amazing. She knows her stuff. Very talented, super sweet in person and on YouTube. So the white that I'm using is called Angel White. It's by La Res. You can also use Titanium White from Just Resin or Snow White from Color Obsession. Those are my three go-tos. Okay, so I have my whole surface prepped and I have a glass of wine, tink. Old school yin yang underpainting. I did used to do this look a lot, didn't I? 
Okay, I'm gonna start by pouring out some clear where I want my shoreline to be. This has two purposes. It allows me to remove any color that I may not like. So if I were to pour it out purple and not liked it, it may leave a stain. But using clear, I don't have to worry about that. It also acts as a barrier between my white resin and my usually blue resin, but in this case, it's gonna be blue and purple resin. We don't have MMG powers, right? What's up, Stephanie? How are you doing? Okay, so I'm going to use my lightest blue for my shoreline color. We go the lay down. It's not going to look like a super refined piece until I'm a few colors in, but it's not going to be a long video. Just hang out with me. I promise. It'll look amazing by the end of it. So I don't pour out my colors back to back so that they're all touching. I give gaps in between so that I can fill in um, with my hand. Because if I just poured enough resin on there to completely fill it, it would not self-level properly and we would end up with gaps in the resin or low spots because it's going to self-level and a lot of it's going to pour off the canvas. Also, I don't waste any resin, so I'm really scraping the bottom of the, the cup doing this. And then I have my deep ocean color. Hi, just Jackie. Thanks for watching. I am not Marcy, but I and Marcy appreciate you watching live. I know on my channel, I like going live because I get to interact with people and answer questions as I go. And I'm sure Marcy enjoys that part of going live for the same reason. Okay, so I'm going to add some color to this little bit of clear that I have left so I can fill in some of these gaps I'm really wanting a bunch of variations in depth of color so that it looks like there's deep parts of the ocean and shallow parts of the ocean as a mermaid, that's what I really like to see in my artwork. And I have a little bit left that I can make purple. start blending colors out. Do you guys usually work with resin or do you work with acrylics? I know Marcy works with like everything, but what's y'all's favorite medium? So I'm purposefully going with a darker palette for this ocean. because I'm doing black sands. And as I'm blending these colors in with each other, I'm picking a little bit up and bringing it to my shoreline so it, it kind of makes sense.
for this board, I'm using 10 ounces of resin. Probably could have gotten away with using only um, eight or nine ounces. wipe my hand off and we'll get to the fun part. Hi Brandy. A face? A face. Jackie, you just started dabbling in resin and acrylics. That's awesome. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Cujo, go lay down. So right now I'm just popping bubbles and making sure I don't have anything floating in the resin that may disrupt the flow of my wave. And making sure I have no dry spots. It's addictive, right? Well, thank you, Stephanie. I, I enjoy these colors as well. All right, we got no low spots. Nothing floating that I know of. We're ready to add our white. So I'm gonna add this so that the white touches both the dry part or the sand and the wet part or the resin. I'm not doing too thick of a, a line of color because if your line is too thick, you're gonna cover up all your awesome color. Okay, I'm gonna take another sip of wine and we're gonna get after it. Also, drink responsibly and don't drink if you're underage and you don't have to drink to do good art and all the other responsible things that people say. Okay. So, I'm using an attachment that is rather odd looking. I usually use the platypus attachment or a diffuser or a concentrator, which looks like a wedding cake. What I'm gonna do is turn my heat gun to 100% high heat, and I'm gonna use the highest air flow setting. And I'm gonna preheat a section, and then I'm gonna push it further into the piece, and then I move on. Okay, I'm nervous. Are y'all nervous? I'm nervous. You ready? Okay, me too. I'm gonna tilt it just slightly. Preheat this little bit. And then push the wave out. And then move on. Preheat and push the wave. Preheat and push the wave. Wave. I'm gonna let this wave fall uh, a little bit more into the design. so that I can blur out some of this white that's further into the piece.
there I have my first wave. Now, tomorrow after this sets up, I'll come through and do a second wave. I'll show you guys a piece that I've done with multiple waves so you can just see what it looks like um, if you've got time. Right now I'm just pouring a little bit more white down the front of my wave just to give it a more rigid white look. Because when you heat it up as much as I just did and tilt it, this part's gonna thin out a lot. So I'm just filling that part back in. Now in a minute, I'll bring you down and give you a close up of our wave. This bit looks kind of plain. So I'm just gonna mess with just this bit. Be careful if you're using a torch to, Kujo, go lay down, to manipulate white resin because it's super easy to scorch. You wanna make sure you keep your torch moving. And I'm not getting super close, I'm just touching the ambient heat to the resin. That looks better. All right, let me bring you guys down and give you a close up. If I can get my glove off. Focus, nope, focus. Um, there's going to be a little bit of movement, so if you're not a fan of movement, look away. All right, we're good. So, here's our super agitated ocean wave. Cujo, go lay down. That's my little man, Cujo. He has a collapsing trachea and an enlarged heart. It has nothing to do with resin, my poor little guy. He's 13. Look at the depth in those cells right there. How amazing. Love the colors. I feel like there needs to be something right here. Thank you, Renee. Um, he's on the best meds and has multiple doctors. We're doing everything we can for him. I'm just gonna push this off a little bit right here. Oops, sorry. Evelyn, thank you. So that's the first layer. Tomorrow I'll come in and add a second wave that comes up right here. And that'll help to complete my black sands ocean. There's just so much depth right there. So if you guys have a second, I will take you to see some other oceans that I've done. Hold on, let me get this one. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I'll do the second layer on my channel tomorrow. That's Artist Till Death. I'm just taking you through my studio to um, see some of my other oceans so this is a piece that i did recently that has three waves you can build up so much depth with translucent colors or transparent colors 
this is what the sand texture looks like without having um, black spray paint over it. This is my pseudo gallery. I do a lot of oceans. Kuja's having a little bit of a time right now, but he'll be okay. So I do a lot of kinds of artwork. Thank you, Fluffy Giraffe. Right, because I'm a mermaid. Geodes. And, um, Cujo, go lay down. I just did this one. Claire is requesting to see the Rainbow Ocean. Pride is coming up, and so we did this one. That's girl cat. This is my paint shop. I sell everything you could ever need for doing resin art. That's Lil Wheezy right there. This is Bowie. They're my little men. They have my whole heart. So yeah, I carry a lot of paints. So this is my my contribution to the Rainbow Army. Cujo, enough. So if you guys have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Come here. Okay, okay. Thank you. <gasps> Thank you. A lot of times he just wants attention. Yeah, you. Um, thank you. This is my... Notice how if I look at him, he stops. Uh, they're palms. They're my little guys. This one, he just turned... Will he be 13 this year? Poor thing. So, you guys, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer. If not, um, cool. Uh, if you have questions later on, feel free to message me on my channel. And yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to Mixed Media Girl. She's amazing. Leave a thumbs. And if you've got time after watching all Mixed Media Girl's um, videos, come check us out at Artists Till Death. We'd love to have you guys and have an awesome, awesome hump day. Okay. Okay. So anyways, as we say on our channel, be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. And always remember, we do the test. so you don't have to. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.